No worries. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> now recording. You said, you said don't be scared. It made me scared. <laughs> <laughs> I just found it funny. <laughs> Oh, man, well, this is how y'all held me down in the chair and stuck things up my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have razor blades for nails, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have them for my nails. They are not that sharp. They're just... So, welcome to the podcast, everyone. This is Mushroom Goats. Because goats <laughs> are like mushrooms. And if you shoot a duck, I'm scared of toasters. <laughs> Her laugh is so contagious. Sorry. <laughs> this week, Bluebird is our weekly winner. Yay. Hello. <laughs> so, how, how does it how does it feel to be in another one of my videos, oh, my Brenna. This time, instead of I actually to shoot missed it. I missed nose. some of the shit that you and I did for some videos. Remember the uh, Hobo's version of Death of Death Coffee? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> that shit was disgusting. Yeah. Do not take a whole fucking can uh, no, of don't. instant coffee and put it in one cup. <laughs> <laughs> That's rookie shit. You gotta up the numbers. Do not try and drink the entire thing. You'll have no sleep for about a week. So it was at this point you two decided, oh, hey, we're gonna overdose on caffeine. (laughs) We couldn't finish it. It was too strong and too bitter. I tried. (laughs) One one sip is like snorting an entire rock. (laughs) You tried not to barf, sir. (laughs) (laughs) The worst experience I ever had with caffeine was I had a killer headache and I thought I took two Excedrin and I accidentally took four. So I was zooming on 480 milligrams of caffeine all at once. Over love of God. I just ate a whole fucking, uh, I pluck your neck every damn day, mom. What difference does that make? I ate, I ate a whole bottle of vitamin gummies, so we're gonna see what happens. Oh lord, why? That sounds really fucked up, mom. <clears throat> Hi, mommy. Hi, mom. Right, let's not get into that, TJ, because you. Let's not go back over the stuff of how hard Corey you were hitting. Oh lord. Hey, something just tells me your mom's hot. <laughs> Huh? Oh yeah, Beefy, what were you thinking eating a ghost pepper chip? Are you fucking out of your mind? I needed content. <laughs> <laughs> you you should have shaved your eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Do you not remember what happened last time you ate too much spicy food? You had a massive nosebleed like no tomorrow. Yeah, I really wish we still had that footage. That was pretty badass. <laughs> This man had a full, a heaping spoonful of scorpion salt, which was blended with scorpion pepper. So two, we're gonna go steal hoses. Two tea, two spoonfuls of ghost pepper sauce, and then had a hot sauce that was known as the end. The end. Jesus. And yeah, it's nine million. Hey, at least scoliosis. he didn't have some. At least he didn't have any of that. Liquid rage, oh no, Megadeth sauce with liquid rage. <laughs> Jeez. I'm, pretty sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the uh, end has more gold units. <laughs> you want to impress me? Pop the cap and insert it anally. Huh? I have no idea what the hell this is on my leg that I just yanked off. <laughs> but you yanked off and... something on your leg? I ate one of them. But Beefy, yeah. you bled so much from your nose. I, didn't know. Like I thought you made the other one. Where we were sitting. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> There's still an unopened one in the freezer. 
Previously on Alex Talk to His Mom, last time, <laughs> the young man TJ was hitting on her in a very uncomfortable manner, and now he's talking about shit I have no clue. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we now return to so. regularly scheduled retarded ass programming. In other words, me. <laughs> yeah, I have I have a hangover. I was supposed to give blood today. I'm I'm just gonna start giving sperm. Oh my god! I just wonder if someone can get drunk off blood if someone's having a hangover. I mean, I got drunk off of Bloody Mary. That's not the same okay, thing. Okay, that's so it. not funny. I had like three Bloody Marys last night. Oh my god! You want to get really high and drunk. You want a good Bloody Mary. You just cut Keith Richards open and drink some of his blood. You might get AIDS, but but you'll get enough. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Magically delicious. So, my plan is tomorrow I'm going to give blood and then I'm going to buy Cheyenne a swimsuit. This swimsuit has Thanos as the uh, graphic art. It better be on... <laughs> the Infinity Gauntlet better be on the crotch. <laughs> no, it's, it's literally, it's literally just his face. Oh my god! Agro- across the whole thing. God wants no part of what happens next. Which <laughs> <laughs> one do you think is about donating your sperm? <laughs> I want to donate my sperm so I can finally weaponize autism. Oh my god. I actually heard that one guy was paid $2,000 to do that. Yeah. yeah. Good genetics. I'm a little retarded, but I look pretty decent, so I think women would pay plenty. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) That's fucked up. But true. (laughs) How's that true? That's just fucked up. All your, all your children are making TikToks. Soy sauce, do you think he cares? <laughs> uh. Running and chasing. Oh, what the fuck I get myself into? <laughs> you don't even want to know. For his promo. Uh. <laughs> Anytime someone joins a call with us three, it's like a verbal gangbang. <laughs> hey, these are not DJ headsets. This is a gaming headset. There's a difference. Get out of my room, Mom. I'm trying to play Counter-Strike. <laughs> Fuck! Counter-Strike is for wussies. Fortnite. Oh, Fortnite. Fortnite is for stupid 10-year-olds. Fortnite's for retarded faggots. Yeah. What the hell? No. I need to ask y'all a question. What's a fig? You ever had a fig, Newton? Yeah. Meanwhile, Alex Mike is being a weird bitch. Wow. How is my mic being weird? It's like cutting in and out. <laughs> because of my connection, you dipshit. <laughs> Maybe fix your connection. <laughs> 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 kind of hard when I'm out in the middle of fucking nowhere, surrounded by goddamn wood lines. So if I wanted to just yeet the fuck out, I could go straight into the wood lines, and nobody would find my ass. <laughs> just, just somebody would find your lip. <laughs> somebody would find your ass. Police got spotlights looking for guys like you all the time. <laughs> all I gotta do is just paint myself white, and I should be good. Yeah, you would actually be great if you did that. Like, nobody would fucking bother you. <laughs> oh, it's like, excuse me, sir. Have you seen an ugly-ass black man come this way? It's like, no, sir, I have not. <laughs> Bad thing is, your regular voice could pass as a really, really white guy's voice. <laughs> oh. No shit, Sherlock motherfucking Holmes. I don't look at me in that tone of voice. Oh, Bitch, how the fuck do you know I'm even looking at you? I could be flipping you off right now through my phone, which is actually what I'm doing. You bitch. Harder. What? I touched a nerve. <laughs> oh, you touched something all right. It wasn't a nerve. Oh, my. I well, know I didn't touch your penis. 
No, nah, you got to buy me dinner for that one, buddy boy. I'm thinking Popeyes. <laughs> oh, always good to my favorite beefcake. Racistly enough, that's not too far off, actually. Popeyes is good. <laughs> Except the biscuits, it's like choking on a crusty dick. <laughs> no, it's oh like salt. God, with, no, it's like freaking chalk with butter on it. Oh. Meanwhile, Brenda's not hanging out. Because trust me, no, trust me, a salty dick tastes better than Popeye's biscuits. <laughs> uh, don't ask Caleb, me what did you, that. Caleb, what did you and Alec do at Job Corps for him to know what that tastes like? <laughs> oh, no, that was long before Job Corps. I knew what that tastes like. I mean, uh, what? Um, Soy sauce. <laughs> this is, this is the part Why? where we cap. I'm bisexual. Give me a break. I knew it. I fucking knew it. No black guy sounds that white for no reason. <laughs> I understand that, but you didn't have to go into full fucking detail. We uh, we'll just. I mean, no, I mean, nobody channel. tried to stop me. <laughs> we'll just fucking. <laughs> Actually, I think I censored one thing in one of my videos. And that was something TJ said the other podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was it? Was it the end with the hard R? No, no, no. Oh. Strangely enough, no. It was what you <laughs> it was what you said about my roommate. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> because you know Dumbass. I, I live with them. Oh, both my roommates, <laughs> roommates are engaged. Oh, well, ain't did that not... awkward? And that's when he realized he done did fucked up. <laughs> Wait, are we still recording? Yes. Yeah, we're still recording. <laughs> We're gonna fucking title this video now Alex's coming out video. <laughs> I mean Caleb all Caleb is long since new. Yeah. I it's know. it's strange because I didn't suspect it. Usually I get a vibe, but I just didn't get a vibe. Well it's cause he's not outside See? your door. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, damn! <laughs> nothing scarier than up. nothing scarier than a bisexual black man standing outside your door. Oh my god! No, more like nothing scarier than me standing outside your door, high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even want me outside my own door, high as fuck. I don't want to be around anyone high as fuck. You know, you fucking get with this real chick, this chick you think is real hot, you go to bed with Shania Twain and wake up with Mark Twain. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine how you three are in the same room. If only. If only. <laughs> if only. So oh, no, when Caleb me. and I were in job court, it was me, him, and two other people. Yeah. Squad. I think Isaac was one of them, and then Wesley before Dominic came in. Yeah, Wesley. Robin. Robin! He so looked like sauce, Seth Rogen. Soy sauce, have you and I actually met before I left California? No. Oh. No. What the hell, Mike? Why does everybody always say that? It's like, hey, have I met you somewhere before? I was like, no. And then to where I just end up saying, fuck no, Snake. We have never met until now. No, sorry. You said John Corn. and I thought I saw you at the same center. Not with okay, Caleb. Not Alcatraz Job Corps. Let me let me give you that. <laughs> let me give you that info. <laughs> he's saying Alcatraz because he's afraid of the prisoner. Okay. I ain't going to Alcatraz and end up being uh, being the first one to be all like, "Yo, hey, buddy, you ever had a cock meat sandwich? What's a cock meat sandwich? You gonna find out." <laughs> <laughs> you know they no longer run it. If you got, if you guys don't get the reference, I was making, I was making Harold and I was making a Harold and Kumar go to Guantanamo Bay reference right there. 
<laughs> Sorry, never watched the movie. Whoa. What? You never watched Harold and Kumar go to freaking White Castle? Yes. Those guys, Harold that Harold and Kumar. Kumar. Speaking of White Castle, we have a White Castle in Columbia. <laughs> Imagine getting high off your ass White and actually Castle. getting to eat White Castle. You know, Trust White me, Castle. I did it before. His shit was fire. It's like, White I had me some White Castle burgers. And it's like, it's like me having crack when I'm already high as fuck. It's like, <laughs> it's like me having it's like, crack when I'm already on crack. <laughs> no, it's like Tell me, me crack. having crack. But I'm already high off my ass on weed, ecstasy, shrooms, <laughs> acid. Ecstasy? Are you sure you didn't just fuck the burger? <laughs> what? No, I. There was a time to where I got high off my ass on ecstasy and had White Castle. Trust me, that shit does not mix. You have, okay? It was like an episode of Food Wars, to where all of a sudden I'm eating some food, then randomly I come to and my clothes are off, and I'm still eating White Castle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. What do you Trust me, if you that? watch the If you watch the anime Food Wars, you would freaking know it's like literally their clothes blow off when they eat food cuz they have food gasms. <laughs> well, look, I have to find the, this anime and watch it. You would not it's be able to show it's Shogeki no Soma. It literally, the whole show, from what I've heard, looks like something I would do if I'm high as fuck and I'm eating some good ass food. What do you not this get high off good. of? Oh, there goes my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> this one time I was smoking a joint and someone put angel dust on it and I was tripping for six hours straight. Oh, Lord. oh, oh, I'm gonna tell you some. I'm gonna tell you about this guy that I told Caleb about. That was a real idiot when I was at Job Corps. There was a dude when I was a cement mason and Caleb was in culinary. There was this dude in cement with me named Shane and he was huffing gasoline. Oh, God. <laughs> that's yeah, just that's retard. Right. And that dude was in the same dorm as Caleb and I. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Jesus. And my instructor in cement masonry always put me in charge of watching his retarded he, ass. He looked, he looked like a crack, <laughs> oh, no. He looked like, he looked like something that came out of the wrong end of a fucking retarded ass elephant. <laughs> you want to hit this, bro? It's regular unleaded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Man. You know what I did? I'm like, Gene... Go to the freaking steam. Go to the freaking cement garage that we usually make our frames in. He's like, "Why? That retard Shane is sniffing the fucking gasoline in the goddamn cement mixer." He's like, "You're crazy. It's not. He won't do that." I'm like, "Oh, really? Bet. Bring your short ass on, motherfucker." He's like, "Fuck it. Stop calling me short." I'm like, "Stop being a fucking midget, and I won't call you short." <laughs> um. Oh, oh trust me. Guy. Oh, trust me. I dis I dissed the shit out of Gene every chance I got. But you know what? He still put up with me long enough because I may have talked shit, but I still did the work eventually. <laughs> eventually. Because the first no, Caleb even know Caleb even knows the first few months when I was in cement masonry, I didn't do jack shit. But after like what, two, three months, I started getting my shit together and I got the hell out of there. <laughs> it, it took me like two months to complete culinary and I'm like what do I do for the rest of the time <laughs> meanwhile she's in the back having an asthma attack regularly no I'm okay oh she I was having like... an asthma attack I thought she was having an <laughs> orgasm <laughs> no only I know what they <laughs> I'm okay I don't need my inhaler yet <laughs> This is why you, you could not trust us in a room together, just like me, Caleb, and Alec. Because we'd find <laughs> some way to get high, whether it was weed or ecstasy. You'd come in, and you'd see us all three on the couch, naked, eating grapes, playing Borderlands. <laughs> <laughs> no, more like you'd see me in the back of the room for some reason, naked, and screaming at a door. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, be, Caleb would be sitting in a fucking beanbag chair covered in Cheeto dust. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not kidding. Because I, I say naked and screaming at a door because that's happened before. I've gotten so high to where I was naked and screaming at a door. Trust me, it, the argument was really weird. 
<laughs> apparently the door said something about my mother and I was screaming at the door apparently in really bad Japanese <laughs> so, I guess that yeah that's door. pretty much how that went I was speaking Tasmanian devil at the door because apparently the door started the argument and I was losing badly how the fuck do you lose an argument with a door I guess it doesn't adore you <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, that one was pretty good. Give me a minute. I need to use my inhaler real quick. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Topic. Hold up, hold up, hold up. If if I heard this correctly, I'm gonna point this out. It's it honest to right goodness sound like she said, "Hang on, I need to use my hand for a minute." I'm like, I'm not. What the fuck you need to use your hand for? Where the hell is that hand going? Up your ass. Right. <laughs> I said inhaler, damn it! Otherwise, I'm gonna die. We're gonna I was gonna say, I was gonna, I was honestly gonna say, guys, if we hear vibrating, just know that's coming from Bluebird's side, and she's probably doing some shit at that point. <laughs> okay, um, Alec. I'm a <laughs> up person. Caleb knows this. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say, Alec? What are you, what are you trying to do? <laughs> What's up, Alec? What are you trying to do? Trying to do? You're being very straight, bro. Leave Beefy alone. What? <laughs> leave Beefy alone. Leave what? Caleb, I'm gonna fuck your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and Did I'm gonna she, make you watch. Did leave you alone, Bluebird? Pardon me? I said, did you say leave you alone? Because I couldn't really understand what you said because it cut out there for a bit. I said le leave Beefy alone. I'm not messing with Beefy! <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell us not to do something because then we're going to do it just to be fucking dickheads. <laughs> oh no, telling me to do something is like the equivalent of telling thing one and thing two not to do something and to where I'm instantly going to do the opposite of it. My mom learned that the first way of stop telling me to not do shit because I'm still going to do it anyway. I'm going to keep the inhaler with me. She's like, Bubba, don't. F She's like, Bubba, don't go to job corps and have sex. What the fuck happened? <laughs> job behind the fucking dorm rooms. Hey, hey, nobody needs to know about that, Caleb. <laughs> what? Got a blowjob. More than a blowjob. It, it wasn't the guy sniffing gas, was it? <laughs> okay, no. Okay, it was from two people. It was from Andrea and my ex Crystal to where uh I think I might have gotten Wait. her pregnant to where she left me oh, after man. that. Oh no. How do you oh, get like a blowjob from two people at once? Does like one suck your ball? Oh, no. And... no, no. One first time I got a blowjob from Andrea. Second time <clears throat> it was the whole full course with Crystal. It was a whole full course with a side of STDs. And possibly pregnancy. Okay, the pregnancy, I don't believe, but the STD, no. Right after that, I got myself checked to make sure. Because people kept telling me, oh, you know Crystal had cheated on you with four other dudes, right? And then at that point, it literally took damn near five people for me to pull my ass away from her. You Did you cheat on me? Run faster. Damn. <laughs> No, like, honest. She was standing. She was standing there, like, "Yes, I did cheat on you with four other dudes." And then when I, fu and then I, s and then as soon as I even moved an inch, five people were pulling my ass back. <laughs> whoa, whoa, we got an angry black guy in sector two. He's gonna commit abuse. <laughs> no, Get the taser. No, it was no. It was. It took literally. I don't mean to sound racist here, but it took five. <laughs> people to pull my ass away from her and I was still I was still like two feet away from her ass <laughs> yeah so that's the good thing about like you're like having your own race like your own race will back you up like if like I'm getting pissed off at a manager at Walmart like five white guys will hold me back like well bro it's not worth it she could sue you <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it you want to keep no, that 401k no, no. man yeah. or no now People that know me don't even need to pull my ass back. It's like, dude, he's like, hey, dude, look over there. So there's a bitch with some huge teeth. Like, what? 
and that instantly shuts my anger down for some reason. I've noticed this. <laughs> it's like, hey, that bitch got a fat ass right there, and she's single. Like, what? Single, you said? <laughs> single, you're saying? Mm. <laughs> so the quickest way to calm your anger is to show you a hot girl. Well, not a hot girl, just any girl in general that I could actually, you know, make a somewhat decent relationship with that won't turn out how all my other ones have. I can say that. <laughs> just thinking about uh, 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 why the fuck did that person <laughs> pop into my head? Uh, Caleb, um, you remember that dude Blair? She was a cute uh, bitch with a fat ass. Uh, I said, dude. Uh, I don't think so. Wait, I don't think you're around for Blair. Okay, bisexual dude, pretty much get trying to get anyone to fuck him, and he would pay oh. them to fuck him. Oh, I, I, oh. I remember him. I remember him. <laughs> yeah, after you left, he started harassing me more, and he kept coming into our room, feeling on my nuts. The freaking, uh, the... <laughs> What in the, the actual The Puerto fuck? Rican crack addict. <clears throat> Come on, man. It's just a little bit. I'll pay you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, he came. No, because there was a day that I had my freaking electric razors before they all of a sudden disappeared on me. And I was shaving my face. And I just got out of the shower. And he was slowly moving his hand down to my crotch. I'm like, <clears throat> I almost sliced my damn face off. My head freaking snapped down so fast to see this dude trying to feel my nuts. Your automatic thought wasn't to use the black guy response and turn around and punch him and yell world star? Oh, no. That was my first response, but I couldn't do that because the dorm, because the RA was in our room. <laughs> He's trying to grab my so, schnozzle. So, hold on. <laughs> the RA was in the room. Watching this guy feel your nuts. No, he stopped right as the RA walked in. He was still in our room after you left. He just stopped right as Mr. Uh, the RA walked in. Like, when they're basing questions like, oh, why are you standing behind that naked man? Oh, my God. No, the question that I got is, uh, why do you have a towel on and I just walked in here? I'm like, I just got out of the shower. And he's like, all right, fair enough. I bet he's one of those guys that don't know how to take a hint like he sees you in a towel. Oh, he must want to fuck. This must, this must have been like right after I left. It was. It was like maybe like what? Two, three weeks after you left? You weren't there to protect him. <laughs> More like he wasn't there to say what the fuck. <clears throat> yeah, because Caleb probably would have recorded it and been like, content. <laughs> content. Oh my god. <laughs> more like Alan, no, more like he takes a video, posts it on Pornhub. My best friend's first gay experience at Job Corps. Oh God! And I would I would have got paid thirty eight thousand dollars for it. <gasps> to which you would have given me, you would have given me eighteen thousand of that money, seeing as how I was the one that had to freaking be the goddamn unsuspecting star of that video on there. I should have gotten some of that money. Real yeah. talk, though. Real talk. Like, if you if you had the opportunity, all right, and knew that you can make a shit ton of money, would you do a porno? I mean, weighing the pros to the cons, <laughs> there's a 5% chance of maybe, 95% chance is an instant fuck no, snake, in all capital letters. In the back, uh, you hear the fucking solid snake alarm. Uh, That's my <laughs> damn notifications going off, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, that was a long enough podcast. It's long like my dick. <laughs> I'm pretty sure half of this entire thing is just me laughing my ass off at you guys. <laughs> that <and> Honestly. Hi. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you think the shit that we say on the podcast is weird? You have no idea the kind of conversation, the stupid conversations that I have with Kai, which oh, is God. another you know guy that I talk to here on Discord. 
if you see, hear the calls that him and I talk about, or him and the, or some of the calls that Colin and I talk about, you'd probably be pissing your pants right now, laughing. Oh, I'm to piss in. myself off right now. <laughs> Oh, oh God. Get get Colin to join the freaking goddamn contest and see if he wins. Tell I will get my best to join that. Hey, that's a thing. Maybe we could get. Maybe we could do this like a bi-weekly thing, like every two weeks, do this content uh, contest, and whoever wins, get, you know, whatever podcast we do after the contest, we just do that and then just bring them into the freaking podcast. Mm, that actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. Now that I think about it. it it's every week. <laughs> every week? Every yes. Week. Even though we don't have a huge fan base. <laughs> oh, trust me. Then. There was one thing oh, yes. that I used to do, and then all my, like, for whatever weird reason that, like, I used to have my little thing that I used to do. I can't remember what it was. But when I, I had my Jack own little off? small fan base. No, I had my own <laughs> small fan base about something to where it was something. Either I used to do videos or something like that to where I would talk about random shit that people wanted me to talk about and then just post the videos on whatever. It, I think it, I don't know, whatever it was before I got my YouTube account. I used to post videos on some some social media app talking about topics people wanted me to talk about and point out my views on the stuff. And I had this small fan base and most of the fan base that I had was a bunch of horny teenage girls. Literally. <laughs> fuck me, daddy. You can fuck my boyfriend too. <laughs> okay. Don't joke about that because I got some of those texts too. Oh, right, that's what's up. I'm like, how fucking old are you? It's like 13. Like, girl, I am 17 years old. Fuck that shit. I ain't trying to go to no goddamn prison for statutory rape. What, you're 17? I'm 21, you dipshit. You're 21? You said you were 17, my bad. This sh no, I said this shit was happening when I was 17, you dumbass. Listen here. I will whip you. Ooh. Ooh, what you gonna whip Bus. me like your freaking cattle cowboy? Well, time to <laughs> rustle up me some grub. <laughs> look, look, listen. Based on our skin colors, it's just natural selection, so we can fight about it or we can just get it over with. <laughs> oh my god. Motherfucker, you wanna fight? You gotta catch these hands in Mortal Kombat. Caleb, do you even remember how old I am? I would whoop your ass at uh, Mortal Kombat, boy. I know you're older. I than play me. a mean slasher, Jason. Fuck with me. I just, I just turned. Boy, I've been playing Mortal Kombat yeah. since I was like six years old on hard. Twenty four. Trust me, you would not be able to beat my mom in Mortal Kombat because she'll look at you playing, uh, whooping your ass, and not even freaking have to look at the co button combos. I'd be too busy hitting on your mom to even want to fight anyway. What? Mm. You did you say twenty four? <laughs> yeah, I just turned 24 last month, damn it. Happy birthday! Wait, Thanks. you turned 24 or 21? 24? Yeah, how, how old do you think I look? She's 16. Like, <laughs> like 22? <laughs> <laughs> Who said 16? The fourth guy in the call. <laughs> I know I have okay. baby face, but come on! I mean, I I'm not gonna lie... I thought you were younger than what you just said you were, namely because of two reasons. One, you look younger than what you are, and two, you're short as hell. <laughs> oh, shut up. I'm 5'3", damn it. Yeah, I'm 6'2". Five I'm 6'3". I'm, six I'm still the tallest motherfucker here. I'm 6. Well, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Trust me, they like I met a guy. No, I met a guy that was damn near seven foot when I was at Fort Gordon, and I looked up at him. I'm like, Jesus, fuck! What the hell did your parents feed you? <laughs> I don't know. There's a bunch of giants at work. <laughs> no, it's like all the fucking tall people are in the are in the military, which they are. Or basketball. That's why it's so easy to get headshots nowadays. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Aim up. Oh, I like to get headshots, but I don't use a gun. <laughs> it's funny because he talk about sex. Oh my god! Gee, that was the joke. Thanks for pointing that out, Captain Obvious. <laughs> That's my name. Don't worry it out. Uh.
I'll wear something out, but it ain't gonna be your name. Oh, oh. I swear. You gotta buy me dinner first, bitch. <laughs> if you and I ever made videos again, I wonder what crazy shit we would do next. Yeah. Uploading our first Pornhub video gone wrong. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> It would be the director. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be three guys, one black man, one cowboy, and uh, one music, one music, uh, one music artist, and one girl, all going at it like a pack of fucking rabbits. <laughs> I'll get the lasso in the mane and tail. <laughs> Are we bad people? No telling yeah. how that would end. I'd just be throwing cotton on the bed and whipping people. <laughs> oh my god. Pick it. Pick it. Just don't whip me because then people are, because that'll cause an uproar. It's like, oh my god, that cowboy was whipping a black man. How racist. Meh, 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 meh. And and it's sudden, not and all of a sudden Trump wants to get involved and it's like, oh really? You were whipping a black man in a porn video and you didn't invite me? It's like <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Where did Trump come from? Wait a minute. It's not racist if I'm jacking off while I whip you. At that point, it's just BDSM. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> All right. I think, <sighs> I think that about does it for the podcast. Y'all are crazy <laughs> motherfuckers. If you, en- if you enjoyed this podcast, make sure you leave a like. Hey. We're the good kind of crazy, though. Facts. <laughs> hey, Bluebird, uh, after this podcast, I think I'm going to add you as a friend here on Discord. Uh, I have no problem with that. <laughs> huh? I have no problem. All right, I'm going to add you, too. <laughs> sure a bell Jesus Christ! Do these people have no fucking lives in this D&D group that I am in? Jesus, fuck, put the goddamn dice down and let go of your fucking dicks for five minutes. Alex, shut the fuck up. He's trying to do the outro. At least he's not getting fucked by a dryad. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, but I got tentacle raped by Slenderman. Oh, that sounds very... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Trust me, be it like, was not very pleasant. There was tentacles going up every hole, and I mean literally every hole, including my nose. Would you have sex with an octopus, though? <laughs> Fuck no, snake. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. I was feeling hopeful. Beefcake, do the goddamn outro before I die. <laughs> that happened a long ass time ago. What are you talking about? Hit the bell notification. <laughs> Next to the channel name, because we make these every week. Whatever the hell they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of shit. We'll be doing the event every week. We'll have somebody new, or not, maybe. You never know. <laughs> Considering we only have one person comment. <laughs> A very valued person. (laughs) Which, if they didn't comment, you know, we'd be speaking with just ourselves again. TJ commented. (laughs) (laughs) Too late, though. He's a winner. It doesn't work if you're already a fucking podcaster in the damn thing. I can already feel, I can feel double special. Leave me alone. Oh, you're special, all right, but not in the way that you're thinking. Let me tell you this one. <laughs> Listen, Mama said I'm special. She said I grew up to do good things. She said I'm fucking special. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she said you're special. Not Mommy's little frick... Not Mommy's little horn dog. No, she said that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, I was homeschooled. I was banging my teacher. (laughs) Oh, God. Suggestion. Middle finger or whatever. This is Mushroom Goats. Signing out. Seacrest out.
Bye bye. <laughs> hey, Alec. What motherfucker? I don't know what it is, but uh. I just sent you a request, Bluebird. I don't know what it is, man, but there. <laughs> there's just something to. Right? <laughs> huh? We're still recording. <laughs>